Good morning, good morning. So we're gonna try a little floor workout here. So um, my tip of the day, though, we gotta start with that. My tip of the day is um, start recording your breakfasts. Just write them down, scribble it. You're the only one's gonna see it. Start writing it down, and then after a week, look at what you had for breakfast. Are you a no breakfast person or are you just a coffee person? Are you a grab a bagel on the way to work or a muffin or something like that? The reason I say that is start looking at that and then looking at what you eat in the evening, your supper time. You might find that you're starting to, you are if you do that, that you're um, eating more at supper time. You're eating more carbohydrates, you're snacking because breakfast really does set the tone for the day. Whether you're delaying your breakfast, you know, you're maybe an eight hour window, 10 hour window. Um, people who do that know what I mean. And um, you you know you're you, but it's it's the quality of the breakfast that you eat when you do eat breakfast and so if it's not a good quality you don't have enough protein in it you know you can get some greens in breakfast and then um, it, it sets the tone for the rest of the day for your lunch for your blood sugar spikes and things like that if you didn't catch my video yes last night around four I did one and talked about blood blood sugars and what's the optimal blood sugars and how you can just you could, if even if you're not a uh, diagnosed with a diabetic or pre-diabetic, you can actually use the glucose monitor as a tool to help you get slimmer and um, lose some of that excess fat that you may, maybe you're wanting to lose. So that's just kind of that tip. So if you want to learn more about that, you can message me. I don't mind FaceTiming with you and showing you how to use it. So um, it's kind of my passion just to make sure people's blood sugar's in control because you know, if we have our blood sugars are spiking up high during the day, it's damaging our, our kidneys, our eyes, our heart. We're developing vascular disease, so um, you don't want that. Okay, so here, let's get right into it. I hope you did some warm-ups. It's always good to start warming up. You can just step in place and then do some stretches and obviously get your hydration in afterwards. So we're going to get right to it. I have my band here I can use. Um, if this is like you can use for your knees, if you're doing something on your knees, or you can just grab a towel. Um, if you got a carpet, you know, that's fine too. <clears throat> We're gonna get right into just some, some ab works. So, get position on the floor, get your legs up, you can put your hands down here, and we're just gonna go up with the booty. So get, get your feet at a nice base of support, and you're just going up, a little pause at the top, and a little squeeze at the bottom. So you're squeezing, a little pause at the top, okay? You can keep your legs straight. There's another way you can do it if that feels comfortable to you. You do it like that, and you're still bridging up. Gives a little more. You gotta put, make the abdomens tighter doing it that way. So, one, two, three, four, five, Going to 20, six, seven, low as you go up, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Let's pause for a moment. We're gonna do those again. Give yourself a little stretch if you like. Stretch that back. If you're having trouble with those hips, you can stretch that over like that. It's gonna stretch in here. Put that other leg down and do the same. That's something to do if you're having some um, the hip problems, especially in the evening, if you're out walking on some hard surfaces all day. You can even give it an extra stretch putting your arm your head over that way same way on the other side okay back in our positions feet on the floor bridging up just bridges that's all they are one two three squeeze that booty four five tighten that ab as you're going up six low Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, bend knee good, you're not squeezing, 18, 19, and 20. Good job. Okay, 
We are going to get our push-ups in today. You can come over um, if you have your band. You can put that on. About the knees. If you don't, that's fine. If you have a towel, you can use that. Or if you, uh, or if you don't feel like you need the extra cushion for your knees. Okay, you notice how my back is flat? And we're just going to come out like this. We're going to stick our foot out. And so you can't hardly see my foot, but my foot is staying in this position, dorsiflex, and I'm just pushing, okay? And I'm not coming all the way back in, I'm just pushing. If you don't have the band, that's fine. <clears throat> you don't want to come all the way back down. You want to get it about that position and push, like you're pushing your heel out. Push, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, pushing that heel out. Eight, nine, not all the way back down. Ten, eleven, twelve, going to twenty, thirteen, fourteen, push the heel. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Good job. We're switching legs. Make sure you're not start leaning over to the side. Keep that. Neutral position, hands are parallel with the um, shoulders. Doing the other leg, push, push the heel. Don't bring the, don't bring the leg all the way back down. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Give it a rest for a moment. Since we're in position, we're just going to keep doing that. Go back down. Get your position. Back is flat. Pushing with the heel. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Push the heel. Nine. 10, don't bring it all the way back down, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. The band just gives me a resistance. Okay, other leg, one, two, dorsiflex that foot, because that means your toes are pointing down and you're pushing through the heel. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good job. Okay. Get rid of that. We can bring it back again, or you can bring your little towel if you brought one. Back on your belly, on your belly, on your back. We're gonna work on our belly. So we're gonna do some modified crunches and get your legs. I'm just trying to think. No, let's keep them flat. What we're gonna do, we're just gonna come up like this. So you're taking, get your feet flat, you're just crawling your arms, okay? You're not going all the way back down on your uh, back. Just crawling your arms. Can you feel that right there? That's what we're working on. Okay. One, two, three, four. Keep your head. Five. Neutral position. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good job. Rest for a minute. Do another set of those. Deep breath. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good job. Okay, let's do a plank. A plank, you say? <laughs> okay. Do a plank. Get in your long position. You can do this. We'll just do it for 30 seconds. So, if, you, if that's too much for you, you can do it on your elbows. Position, back is straight, booty is down, you don't got it sticking up in the air, in a plank. We're gonna count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, come on, you got this, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Good job. You did a 30 second plank. Yay. <laughs> so, my mat's starting to crawl over here. Doing good. We got 15. I worked for 13 minutes. Let's go, um, let's see, what do I do? Let's do the, um, Let's do those um, crunches again. Those abdominal crunches. Abdomen, abdomen crunches. So, we're gonna do the, what we call the bridges. So you're gonna work here, and then whenever you get up to the top, you squeeze, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, squeeze. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good job. While we're here, let's give that thigh, that uh, glute and that hip another stretch. So put your leg on your knee and just push. Want an extra stretch? Kind of grab that heel a little bit. You know, feel that stretch in that hip area. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. Other leg. Just push. One, two, three, four, five. That's a good area if you're um, having trouble with your hips. If you're sitting in a chair, whatever hip it is, just put it up on your other knee and just push on it. Just push on the, um, the uh, knee area there when you're sitting, and that will help push out that, um, help release that band there. Okay. My camera's really not set up. I tried to stand up and do much exercise. Let's get some push-ups in. Yay! <laughs> okay, so when you're doing push-ups, you can do them. You can do them with the pad on your knees Scoot that way back down. Like this. And go down. Cross your legs. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. 13, 14, 15. Good job. So you want your you want your body coming down about this area, and that's where you want your um, thumbs about that area. And so when you go down, you're working on this, working on the chest, working on the back muscles, not working on this up upper here. Okay, what can we do? Let's do the um, leg push-outs again. Won't put the band on. You kind of got the idea of that. Just helps with resistance. Got my knee pad. We're just gonna be pushing through the heel. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. You should feel that all the way in that thigh area as you're pushing through that heel. Uh, the other leg, dorsiflex, toe pain pointing down, heel pushing through, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, 20. Good job. Okay, feel like one more set of push-ups? Yep, we'll have done three sets with everything, I think. I think I did it. Three sets, except two sets of push-ups. You don't do as many push-ups when you, when you do those. Oh, hey, you know, let's do the plank. That's good. Do the plank, ready? I like the plank. Get your position, your feet are here. Like I said, if it's too hard, do on your elbows, on your forearm like that. Plank position. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. 27, 28, 29, 30. I probably count a little fast. I don't know if I'd count that one as 30. So while we're down here, let's do, do some leg crunches. So I'm just gonna go up, up. So your other leg's underneath of you. You can um, do this. If that's too much on your neck, you can just put your head down. Either way. Three, four. You wanna keep your Legs straight, coming up, coming up, right at the hip, bend. Six, seven, eight, nine, try not to roll forward, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good, I'm gonna keep that foot Dorsiflex throws you off whenever you're trying to, to point it. Go on the other side. Whichever positions, arm position is better for you. Kind of up a little high here, it's hard to see. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Remember the old J <laughs> Jane Fonda workouts? Okay, it was 20. It made me think of that with her, her leotards on her group and uh, the old Jane Fonda. That's funny. I don't know. We're going to do one more set of bridges just because that works the glutes and uh, the abs. And then we'll do one more set of push-ups. Uh, you can do them. Okay, down here. One more set of bridges. Feet good position. Up. Two. Three. Four. Squeeze. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Squeeze. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good job. One set of push-ups and we'll call it quits. And we're going to come back again tomorrow. Mm, I think we can do, I have to work tomorrow, but I think I can still do 8 o'clock. Push-ups, if you need to do, they call them the granny push-ups, but I think they're not too many. Well, I'm a granny, but... <laughs> I don't call myself a granny. But anyway, so you can do the granny style push-ups or you can do the regular push-ups. A lot of you are probably getting to where you're going to be doing the regular push-ups. You've been doing those 
counter push-ups during the day? Think we got them? Okay, let's give it a try. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. <gasps> I know, I'm out of breath too. Get yourself a drink, hydrate. Hope you got a little sweat going on. Not working out if you're not sweating. That's all I got for today. You have an awesome one. We'll catch up tomorrow. Goodbye.